Hey everyone, in my last video, I showed you how you can make any application a global app on a Mac. Well, today we're gonna to do exactly the same thing on Windows, turning a simple command line utility into a global command on a Windows box. Let's go. Okay, so if you watched my last video, this is exactly the same code. It's just simple Go application that simply logs out Hello Brian. If I open up the command line or my terminal that I have in VS Code and I type in uh, go run main.go, Oops, main.go. You can see we get the time date stamp as well as hello, Brian. Okay, so I've already built the application for Windows. So I have hello world.exe over here on the left hand side. So that's pre built. Uh, and again, just as a demonstration from last time, uh, just the same thing. Uh, if I try and run hello world from this folder, from the same folder uh, where I have my code and the, the actual executable working, you can see it works. However, I, if I CD up to a top level or up a directory, CD is for change directory, and I try and run that hello world again. PowerShell here is complaining, says I have no idea what to do with this, right? So we're gonna CD back into my content directory. And what I'm going to do, and this is kind of what I like to do, is um, I like to make a special folder inside of my C drive that contains all of my little utilities. So I'm gonna say, uh, make dir c colon slash, and we'll say just utils, uh, usually utils, utilities, something like that. So now I have a folder called utils on the top level of the C drive. Uh, we're gonna copy the hello world uh, hello world.exe to C colon slash utils. And now if I LS, which for uh, stands for listing the contents of the directory, uh, utils, I should have that single file, uh, hello world.exe. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on my Windows icon and I'm gonna click on the run, uh, the run button. What we're gonna type in here is uh, sysdm.cpl or sysdm.cpl. This is gonna open up a, a special applet that lets you modify uh, attributes of the of the system itself. We wanna to go to the advanced tab and down to environment variables. And you can see I have a bunch already in here, but the one we're interested in is this path one, which is, uh, it's about halfway down inside the top, the top pane of this window. We're gonna select that, we're gonna click edit, and you can see there's a list of different uh, directories that are inside here. And these are where the, the path environment variable is where your kind of global applications live, right? But we can add different folders to this too, which is pretty neat. So I'm gonna go ahead and click new, and I'm gonna type in C colon backslash utils because that's the directory that we created. Click okay, click okay, and finally click okay. Now the only downside to doing this in Windows is you do have to log out and log back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've logged back into Windows. I got my terminal pulled back up. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. So we'll type in hello world. Hit enter and we can see now we get hello world. So you could technically run the hello world command from basically anywhere on in your Windows box and uh, it'll work just the same as if you were right in that same directory. So you have it, there's how you can make any CLI application or basically any application, a global application uh, through your terminal on Windows. Uh, if you like this kind of content, stuff about integrations, working with APIs, general software development, and the occasional productivity video, go ahead and do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Uh, like and share the video if you enjoyed it. If you want to get in touch with me, I'm on Twitter at BrianMMDev is the best way to contact me. DMs are open. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.